All right, so a couple quick things about today. Fishing a new stream, never been on it before. Very cool, but the downfall is I got a lot of overhang. It's a tiny little stream, um, pocket water left and right, but inevitably um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of bow and arrow casting. So I've got this, you know, stump, uh, this kind of like undercut bank where a fish is probably laying up, hopefully. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rod grab it by the the fly that's the very bottom because i'm using a dry dry dropper setup today so hopefully you can see that particular kind of like caddis type fly and then underneath where i've gotten both of my strikes from fish today that you saw on film i've got this nice little hairs here that i tied up so inevitably what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab it by the back fly just put a little bit of pressure so i get that nice little kind of like c up on the top of the rod where it bends and i'm just going to pull it and let go and then basically it kicks it into the water that I want. You probably just saw right there, I had a little take. Let's see if we get anything more. All right, so that's been our presentation style today. It's been effective. Um, it's tough to fish these tiny little streams, especially when you don't have, you know, probably the proper gear, because I should be using more of like a seven foot six uh, inch rod. But unfortunately, that's not something I've got right now. And instead I've got a 10 foot rod, which is an overkill, but it's versatile enough where I can still do this. I'm gonna try to sneak up, get a little bit closer to this front edge of it and drop in right up on the top side of this run. Perfect. Just had a take, another little take. Ooh, that was a bigger take. Splashier rise too. All right, so I like what I saw there. I'm going to try it again. Probably need to dust off this caddis fly because it's getting a little bit wet. I probably have to hit that with a shaker here in a minute. But I'm going to try one more time before I even do that into this spot. Okay. Got to watch the tree. Come out. Alright, so it's riding high. It's doing what I want, but just didn't quite get it to the spot I want. Let's try one more time. Ooh, that's a nice cast. There's a little take. Another little take. All right, I'll try again. Unfortunately, it got hung up over top of the branch. I put it right where I wanted, but too much. Too much sauce on that. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna guide it through. I watch all these obstructions. All right. So the basic principle of this bow and arrow cast, you know, I was able to demonstrate. It's been extremely helpful because honestly you can't really fish this otherwise so i'm going to try just to go around at the top give it a cast up here and then call it quits ah. yep rookie yep that is awesome. I will. Ah. That is my first Hartford County wild trout. That is cool. He is time. Uh, no, took the nymph.
I got one. Okay. Liking this hare's ear. It's our third trout of the day. Another tiny little one, but we'll take it. Ah. So there's a rock it's a little dark spot that's up at the top of the run where is he at in relation to that I'm trying to find him but i can't see him right, right underneath where my line is you can see the black stripe on that pretty pretty good see russ can't see the line maybe that's a brookie It's a brown. So that's gonna wrap up a uh, trip out to Harford County, Maryland. Me and my buddy Eric were able to get on the stream and we were able to get in some wild fish today, which is nice. I've um, never caught wild fish for trout in Harford County, but um, had heard from a couple different people uh, that basically I might get into some brook trout and brown trout and sure enough, that's what happened. They were small. That's what happens whenever you fish the small streams, you're gonna you know, not be able to get uh, the prize fish, but it was better than fishing uh, the stream down the road for Deer Creek, where basically, you know, you're shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of different people that you just don't know. So anyway, good to get out on the stream, share it with Eric. Uh, got into, again, the three fish and moved a couple other nice ones. So I'll definitely have to come back and uh, chase them again this summer. So thanks for watching.